Hi, it's November the 12th and this is Tara Green. I'm doing your tarot card of the day on a very, very auspicious day. I'm going to talk a little bit about the astrology because it's a very, 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 very rare and auspicious occasion. It's the last of three conjunctions of Jupiter, the largest planet, the planet of Zeus, the lightning bolt thrower, the benefactor, the feel-good planet. Zeus is Jove or Joy, he's good humored, he's optimistic, he's like Santa Claus. In Capricorn, conjunct Pluto, the lord of wealth and death and rebirth and transformation, the plutocrats, plutocracy, that's big power. Okay, so even though Jupiter is considered weak uh, in Capricorn because it's opposite the sign it's exalted in, which is Cancer, it's still good. Jupiter's always the big benefactor, so take advantage of this because Jupiter and Pluto won't be together again for another 248 years. Yes, that's right, 248 years. So the exact uh, alignment is at 1.39 p.m. That's in Pacific Standard Time, 4.39 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and 9.39. I believe it's still, yeah, 9.39 p.m. Greenwich Mean Time. So definitely do something to honor Jupiter. Uh, Jupiter's color is royal purple. Any uh, juniper plants are sacred to him. His metal is tin. Okay, so Jupiter likes big things. So you're gonna make a big grand gesture and offering to Jupiter, the great benefactor. You want him to uh, bring you benefits back, right? Okay, so tit for tat there. Do something nice for Jupiter. He'll be very happy and jovial. That's also Joe, Jupiter. He'll give you something back. And then Pluto, you know, Pluto is much you know, people are afraid of Pluto. He's also Hades, the Lord of Death. Um, but, you know, we're all gonna get to meet him someday. So he rules the underworld, uh, the realm of the shades, the unconscious, you know, in psychology, you want to be friends with Pluto or Hades, okay? So even though, who cares if a few astronomers uh, demoted him, I do believe he will be remoted and put back to planetary status. Um, you know, you can't demote death. You know, let's put it that way. Okay, so Pluto's very rich, very wealthy. This is the billionaire's transit here. You want to get on this one. So at 22 degrees Capricorn, the exact same degree that Pluto and Saturn came together at on January the 12th, that kicked off COVID-19. In some ways, this will also, it has a downside. It will expand COVID. This is the second wave. It's going to expand COVID because that's what Jupiter does. It expands whatever it touches. Now, this is a, in Capricorn, it's about manifestation, it's about long-term powers, it's about corporate structure, it is about the plutocrats, you know, who are trying to take a hold more and more and more. Um, but, you know, very soon when Jupiter and Saturn get together at zero Aquarius on December 21st, 2020, that's the initiation, the beginning of the people beginning to just become more conscious and take back the power and make it equal. So I've picked two cards today from the beautiful Muse Tarot. So the one on the right here represents Jupiter. And it is actually, it's the number two Empress card. There's actually, this is the mistaken Empress card. Interestingly enough, this deck was printed. This was one of the last uh, of a short run of 500 copies of the Muse Tarot before it went into mass production that I got um, from the owner and the creator, uh, Chris Ann. Uh, Donnelly, and actually there's a mistake in there are two empresses, so for some reason I pulled out this one, okay, uh, which is the same, it's just that the empress is number three and not number two, maybe this is some weird Mars retrograde before Mars turns direct on uh, November the 13th too. Okay, so the heart of the empress here is the star at the center of our solar system, um, so we want to get in touch with our own golden hearts, the old, we already have all the gold, we have all the riches, we just need to realize it, okay? Uh, and to kind of laugh at, you know, not recognizing who we really are, you know? Um, we have to not take our, all of this too seriously either. Now, the interesting thing is in this deck, the page of inspirations, the pages are the younger, um, the what Jung, Jungians would call the pure, the kind of a younger, child, not very mature, inspiration is fire. Okay, so this is represents Pluto here. Uh, with the black cat, which seems very Plutonic somehow, and this woman with this beautiful hair, you know, hair is always a spiritual symbol, uh, spiritual antenna actually, that's why holy people do not cut their hair. There's actually two black cats there, witches, familiars, uh, 
one right in front of the woman's you know what and one kind of gazing out and this kind of unique kind of sacred geometry wall power and then this beautiful kind of inspirational cloud that looks like the galaxies looks like you know some big cosmic explosion of imagination so I really like that it's very creative uh, this duo so think about your own wealth your own riches how you can enrich the world so 22 degrees now remember that 2020 is a number 22 uh, sacred geometry sacred master number so any planets you have at 22 degrees capricorn plus or minus five degrees so from 17 to 27 capricorn cardinal sign or sign uh, 22 degrees aries cardinal fire uh, again at 17 to 27 uh, Aries 17 to 27 Libra is also in the square there air cardinal air and the opposition 17 to 27 degrees cancer okay now um, because this is so earthy again planets you know a little bit before a little bit after 22 degrees Taurus and Virgo get a big grand trine that's very nice and also planet sextile this 22 degrees Capricorn which would be 22 degrees Scorpio and 22 degrees Pisces get the nice sextile aspect and that sextile makes two yods or finger of gods one to Gemini at 22 degrees and one at Leo so that's pointing to Gemini's and Leo so they better get their act together as the finger of God is upon them okay so um, I'm tuning into that wealth um, number 22 beautiful master number 22 is also the fool in the tarot so be the wise fool who makes everybody laugh, actually, by the way. He makes the kings and the queens laugh. So if you want to get in touch with me, I'm at terratarot.com. Please uh, subscribe to me here on YouTube. Uh, I need to get more followers, please. You can follow me on my blog at infinitynow.wordpress.com. And I'm on Twitter and Instagram. Many wealthy blessings to you. I mean, incidentally, Mars is, you know, again, at its slowest degree today the moon is in libra also squaring all those planets as well so get it together folks blessings